It was a lie, Carla Bruni slams Trump for making up that they had an affair and turns her nose up at Melania's modeling nudes, saying hers were more artistic. Former First Lady of France Carla Bruni abandoned diplomacy in a recent interview in which she both rebuked Donald Trump and belittled Melania's modeling days. Bruni, a singer and songwriter who has been married to former French President Nicolas Sarkozy since 2008, made the remarks in an interview with The Daily Beast which was published on Sunday. Bruni's history with President Trump revolves around a single lie that he planned to leave Marla Maples for her in 1991. Trump is said to have planted the story himself by posing as his own PR representative, something he claimed to know nothing about during his presidential campaign despite allegedly owning up to it at the time. Back in 1991, long before either of the pair entered into politics as candidates or spouses, Bruni told the Daily Mail Trump was clearly a lunatic and said she had been deeply embarrassed by the whole ordeal. In her interview this week, the 49-year-old gave no concessions on her earlier comments. The whole situation was very vague and just did not exist. So I was very surprised when he went to the press, she said, maintaining that Trump planted the story himself. It was a lie, she added. At the time she married Sarkozy, Bruni was a world-renowned supermodel with a backlog of rock star boyfriends including Mick Jagger. She claims her legitimate independent fame sparked the media circus which accompanied the emergence of nude photographs of her when she was France's first lady. Her nude photo scandal, she said, could not be compared to that of Melania Trump, 47, who endured having naked photographs she'd posed for as a young model splashed across the New York Post in 2016. It was very different because I had quite a bit of fame from my modeling and my first album so when I married, Sarkozy. They went ra- They just went crazy, she said. Alluding to a contrast with Melania and her photos, Italian-born Bruni said that because she never had an overly sexy body, hers were more tasteful. I've always been very thin and sort of teenage-looking, so my nude pictures were never playboyish. They were more artistic nudes made by great photographers. Despite their artistic differences, 49-year-old Bruni said neither had anything to be ashamed of with their modeling pasts. What's the scandal about? To me, morality has to do with being a good person, so I don't see any immorality with being nude at all. I see immorality as being unkind, cheating and lying to people. That's immorality to me. But not being a pretty young girl and posing nude. Admitting feeling relief since her husband left public office, in 2012, Bruni stopped short of offering her political opinion on the Trump administration. There's not much I can say. What I can say is that I think democracy is better than dictatorships, and democracy is about elections. So. We respect democracy, she said. Trump gave little heed to the Post's publication of Melania's nude photographs during his election campaign. The newspaper published several images on its front page from two different photo shoots. All were taken by Ail de Basseville. Defending his wife and her former profession, he said, Melania was one of the most successful models, and she did many photo shoots, including for covers and major magazines. This was a picture taken for a European magazine prior to my knowing Melania. In Europe, pictures like this are very fashionable and common. 